Good morning, boys. Welcome to our Monday morning assembly. Please, will you bow your head and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you with our heart's love for your wonderful blessings. We thank you for life, health, and protection from harm. We thank you for all the good things and the happiness that have come to us through our home, our parents, our teachers, our classmates, and all of those who love and care for us. We ask this in your name. Amen. Right, this week, the Pridwin value that we are going to be talking about is leadership. But before I do that, let's remind ourselves about the eight Pridwin values. The Pridwin values. Balance. Collaboration. Empathy. Humility. Independence. Leadership. Respect and responsibility. Leadership. Now, what does it mean to be a leader? You know that we are all leaders. We are all leading something or leaders in some way. You might be the captain of a sports team. You might be one of the leaders in class. All through life, you have different leadership roles. You, when, I, when I got married and had children, I became a leader of a family. I am now the leader of a school. But your teachers are leaders of classes. And so everyone has leadership roles. But le and leadership is so important. But by being a leader doesn't mean that you're a good leader. And it's very important that you learn to become a good leader. People like Nelson Mandela, Mother Teresa, even Jesus, people like Sia Colisi, what a wonderful leader. Now, what do these people have that make them these special leaders? I'll show you a short presentation have things which I believe contribute to great leadership. In order for a good leader to lead, he has to be able to motivate the people around him. A good leader always has to be positive. No one likes negativity. A good leader has to dream big. But in order to reach those dreams, there has to be a decisive plan. Everyone likes leaders that are fair and honest. Fairness and honesty are so important. Remember, team first, not the individual. There is no I in team. Enjoy the success of others, not just your own successes. Enjoy it when your friends or your teammates do well. There has to be a balance between your self-confidence and your humility. We want you to be confident, but you must also be humble. We now have the results of our Friday Sports Challenge. The individual grade winners in Grade 3, Lancelot, Callum Wilson, and in better beer, Max Baxter. Our grade four winner, Robert Smuts from better beer. Our grade five winner, the Tabo Makwela from Galahad. Grade six, Robert Berman from better beer. And our grade seven winner, Enrique Denea from Galahad. And then the overall winners, the senior prep winners, Congratulations to the grade fives and the overall house winners in fourth place, Tristram. And then we had a tie for second place, Galahad and Lancelot. Congratulations to Bedevia, who are this week's Sports Challenge winners.
So that's a wrap of our assembly this week. Always, I wish you all a wonderful week. It's been wonderful to see our grade seven boys back at school. And you know what? I just have a feeling that we're going to see the rest of you very soon. Cheers.